natural hair radio show that's going to air Saturdays from noon to 2 Central Time. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Our first, now, I haven't announced this anywhere, so I came here with, oh. with a Thank gift you. for you guys for inviting me on. You know, this is a first, you're going to hear this for the first time. Um, the, the very well-known right. um, hair and beauty and style blogger, vlogger, Chime Edwards has agreed to be our first guest. Awesome. So we are really excited that she's, you know, decided to come on and we're going to start promoting her from, I guess, right now. Yeah. Right now. Um, <laughs> but uh, that that um, website is actually being built and we we all that also has a Facebook page which is facebook.com forward slash hair beauty buzz all together and that's going to that's also the domain name of the website when that goes live oh, so yeah. you know I've done a show in Atlanta called let's talk hair and beauty oh so look we're gonna have to have you on <laughs> <laughs> now I'm not a hair expert <laughs> and that's that's gonna be on the A side right yes that's oh thank you yeah. it is and gonna what, be on the A side on Saturday Saturdays from noon to two. From noon to two. Yeah. Yep. All right, listeners, you heard? Yep. Catch it. And I know it's gonna be good. I know it's gonna. She's a. By the way, she's a beautiful lady, fellas. <laughs> uh, thank you. You're too kind. But thank you so much for having me on. Right. It's been well, fun and a pleasure. Thank you for coming by. We we appreciate you uh, coming by, sharing with us uh, your ideas and your business and what are you doing in the Dallas area. Welcome to Dallas and Pope West area. And thank before you, you go, one more time, give everyone your uh, contact information to you know follow you on Facebook and in your right. Name. Well, you know they definitely should follow me on Instagram. Instagram okay. the handle is mm -hmm. at Hair Beauty Buzz. So you can that's easy to remember. And my business Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash upmarket C O M M and and the, the page for the natural hair radio show with is Hair Beauty Buzz as well. So it's Facebook.com forward slash hair beauty buzz all together. Alright. Awesome. All right. Nice. Very oh, nice. And I'm on Twitter as well. She's on Twitter. Twitter is upmarket up A. So it's U P M A R K E T A. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Lots Thank of you. <laughs> Thank you for coming by. You want to close? You want to? Yeah. So that it was great to speak with Aileen and get all the wonderful information. She has some other stuff to share too, but we're going to talk about that offline, you know, okay. a little bit. Right. But um, that was a great show. Okay. Great information that we have, right. and I think we're going to um, go back into yeah, some let's, music. Let's do this. Okay. Jam a little bit. Uh, yeah. Charlie Wilson. <laughs> Last name. Yes. TJ After Party Radio. Here with my. Host JB. JB. <laughs> it's Wednesday. It's a good day of the week. Yes. Mike is uh, doing our technical <laughs> handling. Hello, Mike. Hello. Oh, uh, by the way, he graduated on the 30th. I, I told you last week he graduated on the 30th. Mike, like, why are you always yeah. bringing my business and up? And Thursday, is it, is it Friday? Friday? I'm going to walk across stage with, with you. My walk across. Yeah, he walked across stage with you now. You, you, you need me to come walk too? You're welcome to come. <laughs> <laughs> For everyone who could not see Mike's face, <laughs> Mike was like, oh, okay. And then my, my, I got my special guest in the house this evening. We had Miss Aileen Yasmin on a little bit earlier, and she shared a lot of information with us. You guys can uh, definitely check her out on Saturdays from 12 to 2 at the, uh, the After Party Radio. She will be on doing Hair Beauty Buzz. 12 to 2 on Saturdays, starting June 6th. Uh, so make sure you tune in and catch her on Facebook. Um, I'll let her repeat all her Facebook stuff. Just look for Hair Beauty Biz. Buzz. Buzz. Hair Beauty Buzz. B U Z. -Z. Hair Beauty Buzz. Hair Beauty Buzz. Oh, I got that right. <laughs> Say that 15 times. <laughs> and uh, then we have another guest that um, snuck in on us, Keith. Yeah. How you doing? How you doing? In the house. How you doing, Keith? I'm doing good. Yeah, good. How you doing? Looking good. Hey, I'm glad I look fresh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, you ready to be on the mic? Yes, I am. Okay. Let's do it. You ain't got no choice now. Do, I have no choice. You, you can call no me choice. out. Let's do this. <laughs> so normally, um, I always do a nice little health and beauty segment. Or not health and beauty, but health and wellness. Well, I guess it could be beautiful. Yeah. Because if you treat right. yourself right, you get right. good. Yes. All day, every day. All right. So, um, since we have a little extra 
time on our schedule this week because we're on from 5 to 8 p.m. every Wednesday. Don't you forget that. Um, today, I'm going to ask my guests a quick question. What do you think of when I say green? Green? What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Broccoli. Greens. Green. Mustard green. Mustard green. What do you think? Of? Grass. Okay, I thought money. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. She ahead of all of us. Okay. You know what I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a setup. Right. I was like, I know somebody gonna say money. Yeah, that was a setup. Okay, so it was only me because I was like, huh. Okay. Anyway, so one of the you know important thing that I talk about often is eating properly and making sure that we, you know, um, eat clean. Right. You know, I think we just, I did a segment on eating local and a lot of local eateries, farmers right. markets and all of that. Um, but now I just want to talk quickly about um, green, green, greens, so leafy greens. And what's really interesting is I found out some information as I was kind of just reading on different types of greens. Mm -hmm. You named a couple, JB. Right. You said collards and mustard yeah. and yes. all. Yeah, you went back on it. <laughs> You got a big, <laughs> big silver pot. Yes. So we're going to talk about how we prepare those greens. That's good. Okay. Because that's important. Sometimes we, you know, we eat our vegetables and things like that, but the preparation is what sometimes causes them from being healthy. So right. you want to make sure that anything that you're consuming, you're getting the benefits of it. And that we're not just eating empty calories uh, and just filling ourselves up, which is why we eat overeat. Mm -hmm. So, well, there's a lot of reasons why we overeat. But anyway, um, just stay on track. So, you know, we always talk about eating clean, um, eating healthy. What is healthy? What isn't healthy? What's better? Um, what, you know, what has better benefits and different things like that. And one of the things that I've learned uh, in you know, just reading about health and wellness is the importance of color in right. your foods, especially your fruits and your vegetables. When you're going and you're picking um, your different vegetables and things like that is to look for rich color. Mm -hmm. uh, and so when you're picking your greens and or you're at the market or, you know, you're in your own garden, you know, picking your greens, um, you want to look for things that are deep in color, deep and rich. Mm -hmm. And there's tons of different greens. A lot of people, you know, we think of spinach first. You know, when we, we go grab a salad, we think spinach. Right. Kale is a new buzz. Right. Mm -hmm. um, broccoli is always on that list somewhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, cucumbers, you know, mm -hmm. some of the basics. Right. So I went and I did some research on um, nutritional value for some of the top greens uh, that we typically eat. And I will say what's interesting is the common ones are not at the top of the list. Mm -hmm. From a okay. yeah, from a nutritional when they they do a like a nutritional rating. Right. And and I you know, I know different information may give you a different number and things like that. And they try to uh, base it on the same um, weight or, you know, um, uh, metrics and things like that. But the very first one, I'm going to see if my guests eat this because I love it. I know, Aileen, I know you probably have this one. Watercress. Yes. You like watercress? Yes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's that peppery kind of leafy green and it looks like almost like a lily, yes. doesn't it? Kinda? Yes. Like a little yes. lily leaf. Right. Um, but it, that's one that actually has a very high nutritional content. The the number at one out of 100 is 100 for that one. Oh, wow. Mm. According to that. this uh, site that I pulled this from. Um, and watercress is, is supposed to be well known for anti-aging. Um, and it has four times more beta carotene than apples. Mm. Bam. Wow. <laughs> you know, each time you, you give out these tips on health, you, you, you talk about aging and, and, and uh, uh, well, aging, just, mm -hmm. just aging of the skin. But and which is which is good because you said water drink a lot of water. Water uh, reduces the wrinkles uh, in your face. And, and you just got to, just mentioned that about the uh, the uh, the green the watercress yep yeah the watercress yeah. so all of these things um, 
what I really am hopefully drilling home to our listeners and you know everyone is what you eat plays such an important part in your life just how mm-hmm. your health you know your health on a daily basis you know the way that you respond to things you know how you you know function throughout the day and a lot of times you know we don't know why we're exhausted or you know why we have breakouts and you know mine is because I ate a whole bunch of chocolate when I was in New Orleans but that's beside the point so we're gonna do some flushing now you know eat a whole lot of greens and a whole lot of water I got one another one I'm gonna do two more to see if these would have come up on you guys list or if you guys eat these Chinese cabbage they call it Napa yeah. cabbage. I, have it. I don't eat it on a regular, but I, I, I love it. You do? Whenever I go to a Chinese restaurant. You I, get the Chinese yeah, cabbage? Yeah. Do you eat that raw, or do they put it like in a I, soup? As a matter of fact, I, I eat it raw. Okay. So I, it's high in calcium and iron. And also, I eat cabbage, American cabbage, raw. Which is really good. Mm-hmm. Red cabbage. Yes. You know, because it's got that rich color. It's all about color. Keith, are you paying attention? Yes, I am. <laughs> Why did you just take me back to like sixth grade? Because <laughs> like, I feel like it's the school says no phones. Is that what they said? Yes. Are, are you calling me out again? <laughs> <laughs> and I, got, I have one more because okay. this one I love. Um, chart. chart. Mm-hmm. You knew I was going to say that? Mm-hmm. Okay. I knew it was in the top three. I yeah. thought it was two. And that one has an 89.27 nutritional okay. point content. I juice that. You juice Chard. your char mm-hmm. with your, what? what is one of the juices that you make? I like beets. So okay. um, yeah. I use, and beets have a lot of natural sugar, so mm-hmm. it flavors it really well. So I'll do beets and I use cucumber because cucumber has a lot of water. Mm-hmm. So... And it also has a lot of um, vitamins that are good for your hair. Yeah. Both cucumber and Mm -hmm. um, beets. Beets can actually um, stop your hair from graying and revert your hair back to its natural color if you do have gray. So I recommend people um, juice beets and consume a lot of beets. And so I add cucumber. You know, so I do that. I, I do a lot of beets and cucumbers, and um, you know, I always add an, add an apple and that kind of stuff. So. Okay. And I wonder if the beets do that because they dye. The color from a beet can dye things, so I wonder if it's coloring your hair follicles somewhere in Probably. the Probably. From the inside out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know precisely why, but um, I did a lot of research when I started juicing and to figure out which vegetables I should be using to juice. And that's when I came up with my like core group of vegetables that I would use to juice. Okay, so researchers um, said that chard is known to have the best defense against diabetes. Apparently, it's got some polyphenol antioxidants that um, fight against the whatever the the known the, the it's an inflama- inflammatory mm-hmm. that kind of uh, causes uh, heart disease right. and diabetes and things like that. And chard is supposed to be known to have one of the highest content of antioxidants that it has anti-inflammatories. Oh. So just some other information because I know a lot of folks you know do um, you know holistic types of remedies and things like that, you know, instead of a lot of the, um, take popping the pill, instead of popping the pill, eat your vegetables or, your, you know, eat as natural as possible. And some of that information kind of helps when you're, you know, you get kind of a diagnosis that maybe you're inflamed or, you know, different things like that. So there's ways to combat some of the, um, the issues and things that we see from a, a health perspective. But all of this information will be on my blog, um, and you guys can read that. It'll be available sometime this week, and you can find that at um, zebyali.com. That's Z-E-B-Y-A-L-I.com. Um, and, you know, finish reading on that and see some of the other vegetables that are on that list. You might be a little surprised when you check that out. Oh.